Uh, can you see me? <laughs> all right, so we got it working, but uh, all right, guys. So look, this is gonna be a little bit different. I know um, you're probably expecting something a little bit different as well, but um, this is gonna be like the first vlog, official vlog for the vlog channel. Um, it's gonna also be featured here on I Am English TV, so you guys can go over there and subscribe to me there. But uh, you'll see more of the vlogs that I've been doing, um, where I'm out and about. Um, those will still go up, up there as well. You'll still see those type of vlogs, but uh, more one-on-one -on -one vlogs like this will be implemented in the future, the near future, um, mainly because, like I said, there's so many different topics, so many different things that I want to talk about that I never get to talk about, and I think it just opens up a different dynamic for the channel and um, and to speak my mind on a few things that come up that I want to like to speak about as well. So um, definitely check me out. Uh, on the vlog channel and you guys will love it uh, I am vlog TV and it will be it's already up actually I just haven't uploaded anything yet or promoted it so anybody knows about it but uh, this first vlog will also serve to um, let you know that I'm going to anime expo um, this week and I cannot wait guys you have no idea how much this means to me to be able to go um, I once had a chance to go to Anime Expo when I was in Arizona. Hmm. Yeah, I was in Arizona and um, I was stationed there at Fort Huachuca and I wanted to go so bad but I, w I had to go by myself and I didn't want to go by myself so um, I never, I didn't go, I just didn't go. Um, there was another time I had a chance to go to Comic Con that was there and I didn't get go to that either. So. Uh, long story short, I went to Germany for a long time, came back, first year back, so I was like, I'm going to Anime Expo, and nobody's going to stop me. So I'm going to Anime Expo, I'll be there Thursday, I'm going to be there the entire time. I'm really hoping to, con uh, to, to meet some of you guys that are out there in the LA area, I would really love to meet you guys. Um, I, I sent a shout out to FoosyTube. He probably won't even. I'm hoping he does. One second. Hello? Um, no, you can't fly it on the base, but <laughs> you can fly it off base. No drones on base. <laughs> All right, so before I was rudely interrupted, actually I wasn't rude. Um, there's something that, <laughs> okay, so let me just veer off into this one particular topic. All right, so last night I was, for this vlog particularly, I was gonna get some really cool drone footage um, for you guys and I took out the drone and we I went, you know, I set it up, put the uh, propellers on, the blades on, everything set up, started the thing up, and the camera would not self-level. Now we turn on the drone, the, the camera will automatically like do a little calibration thing where it spins everywhere, and then it usually finds a center where it levels itself out. Um, but for some reason it kept, the camera would get to that point and then it would just, the motor would turn it all the way to where the camera just faced down. So when I try to fly it, it would only capture footage from the down position. So it, it wouldn't let you move the camera. It wouldn't do anything. So I spent like two and a half hours last night trying to figure out how to fix the freaking camera. Um, because like I said, I've owned the thing since October and I've never had an issue with it. So uh, even when I crashed it, it still worked fine. So uh, couldn't figure it out. Like I said, it was too late to call Unique to, to ask them to fix it. And um, so I just, that was them calling me back um, about fixing it. Uh, it's no longer under warranty, which I'm so mad about, but what are you gonna do? So, and they charge $50 an hour to repair or to recalibrate. And unfortunately the camera cannot, it has to be, the camera has to be sent in to them to recalibrate it. So I have to pay for shipping and have to pay for calibration, uh, which they said shouldn't take more than two hours, go figure. And at the end of that conversation, they told me to have a unique day. Back to what I was talking about. So I get to go to Anime Expo this year. I'm super excited. Um, actually, I was looking for a product uh, when, for when I went because I have backpacks and stuff, but I don't have a camera backpack. 
So I want to shout out, this is not like a sponsored video. I want to shout out Unique, or I'm saying Unique, it's not Unique, sorry. This is uh, Vivitar. I want to shout out Vivitar uh, for sending me this awesome, it's a photo video. I don't know if y'all can see that, jeez. It's a photo video backpack. It doesn't look like much, but it is a backpack for cameras. Um, so I can shoot a what's in my bag video for going to Anime Expo. Uh, I know a lot of tech guys don't go to Anime Expo or go to anything game related. Shout out to Austin Evans because he did go to E3. Uh, I'm going there. It's been some place where I've always wanted to go. It's a dream come true for me. And I'll be spending basically a whole week in LA by myself. The wife will not be there, but she will be calling me. Uh, the Panasonic, which I'm filming on right now, the GH4 setup that I have with the speed booster and the Sigma 1835 will be going in this bag as well as, what else am I gonna take? This bad boy, um, I've had this for a while. You've seen me take some, a lot of cool photos on my Facebook uh, with this bad boy. This is the Sony Nex uh, 3N and I took the uh, original lens off and I added this pretty cool 18 to 35, which is really cool. Um, I like it, I like it a lot. It makes the pictures look really good. Um, but I'm not gonna do this for filming. I was gonna use this for like uh, vlogs and stuff, but I don't like the video quality, uh, but I love the picture quality. So this will be going with me as well. Um, what I don't feel like, uh, shooting with this big GH4 because I'm going with the camera just raw by itself. No microphone, no task cam, no nothing. Um, just the camera and the lens uh, to keep it simple. So all the shots that you, all the video that you will see in 4K will be handheld. I'm sorry, I didn't buy a cage. I was gonna buy a cage, but it just felt like 170 or more dollars for a cage just didn't seem worth it to me because you have to put that thing together and then like, I don't know. It just seemed like it was way too much and I don't want to be, there's going to be a ton of people there and I just don't want to be, I don't even want to be bothered. So now I wasn't able to get another vlog camera right now. I am going to get another vlog camera eventually. Actually what I want for my birthday and or Christmas for my wife uh, is another vlog camera because she broke this one. She broke it. Uh, this is the one that you guys see me always use all the time. You're, I'm always getting questions like, what do you use the vlog? What do you use the vlog? And I'll tell them, they're like, well, what is that? And I'm just like, this is it. It's a Canon. Um, it's called, mine is called Legria Mini. Uh, it's a Canon Legria Mini. Um, that's because I was in Germany when I bought it uh, at a German store. So uh, for you guys, it would be called the Vixia, Vixia Mini. Um, and I like it, man. I mean, this thing is pretty cool. Just gonna do a quick little, it's not really a review, but you can tilt the screen forwards, backwards, any way you want. It's touch screen, shoots 1080p. Um, I'm not sure if it's 60 frames. I think it's maybe 60 frames. I have to look at it. I should know this stuff. Um, but audio is pretty good. It's pretty decent unless you get in like windy situations. Um, and overall, I love what I like about it is it has a pretty neat, here, I'll turn it on for you guys. It has a pretty neat um, wide angle lens. As you can see there, it captures probably like more than 110 um, field of view, but <laughs> you can uh it's so wide that like literally i can usually when i'm shooting my videos i'm like literally like this close so i'm mean, like hey what's up guys this thing was here another vlog another day another vlog but stuff like that um you don't really have to like have it like way out in front of you like this like some people are walking around i usually just walk with it just like this and talk so um this has been my go-to since i uh, was in Germany um, vlogging and I love it and I don't really I don't if I get something else because the screen is severely cracked I don't want to go back and get the same thing so I've been looking at other choices which cost about the same or more money but um, definitely looking to get another camera soon couldn't get one in time for this event because like I said uh, that would have been too much money to spend on the camera to go to the event. It's just not worth it. So I want to enjoy myself, be able to have a little bit of spending money for food and stuff that I don't need once I get there. But it's going to be fun. Anime Expo is, like I said, a dream come true for me. I have so much anime 
that I've collected over the years. So many titles, so many things <laughs> um, that I can't even fit in this room. And I'm a big, huge anime fan. And it's just gonna be really cool to go to the biggest con in the country, period. Um, and I cannot wait, I just can't wait. So, like I said, flying out Thursday. Um, I'll be there pretty much all weekend and I'll come back sometime Monday and uh, yeah so I sh I'm gonna shout out, I shout it out to uh, FusiTube to see if uh, if he has any free time and he wants to meet another youtuber um, that's way below in subscriber count than he is <laughs> obviously but it would be pretty cool to meet him in person and I chop it up with him um, since he lives there um, I'm gonna hit up Aria Fritz uh, I think I said her name right she's really cool I like her YouTube channel um, I'm gonna hit her up see if she wants to uh, meet up or something like just take me around downtown or something uh, just hang out it'd be really cool to meet up with some of you guys you some of you youtubers man because it's just awesome I mean how often do we get a chance to really meet up with each other uncandid unscripted and just chop it up you know what I mean so if any of you guys are out in the LA area please let me know I would love to meet up with you guys I'm gonna be there for a while I'm meeting up with uh, family members uh, that are there uh, it's gonna be fun man it's gonna be really really fun and for my first time being in LA I cannot wait it's gonna be awesome I do want to go to a Brazilian steakhouse I do want to eat sushi I do I have to find a liquor store when I get there because I'm not going to pay for overpriced drinks anywhere. That's just not going to happen. So I will get drunk in my hotel room and then I will go venture out using Uber and go find these other places to have fun at. But uh, I'm not going to pay overpriced drinks. So done for vlog number one. Actually, no, we're not done. No, we're not done. I wanted to address uh, some issues um, that are concerning pretty much the YouTube community and, and as a whole um, and these these issues are basically uh, people trying to capitalize off of the misery of other people yeah. there right. are so many people that you may surround yourself with that you think have your back that you think uh, have your best interests at heart uh, that you think are your friends um, and they're, they're really not because once you start doing better than them um, or if that's how they perceive it, the situation, if they perceive you doing better than them, um, they're quick to try to turn on you or to ruin you um, by various means. I mean, uh, it, it, it's the, the links that people go through, go to on, on this platform here, YouTube, is amazing. I mean, they will go out and do the most heinous things, the most ridiculous things to try to bring you down and I, I learned one thing and that is if you are confident in what you're doing and you know what you're doing is right then your confidence can't be shaken by somebody trying to harm you um, all they're doing is harming themselves uh, in the long run so um, shout out to those haters who uh, who are trying to do just that uh, my faith my credibility is unshaken. Um, I'd like to thank you for giving all those extra people uh, notice of who I am, because I relieved, I received lots of subscribers uh, and messages from people who I thought were your friends, or you probably thought were your friends, and they are now subscribed to me. Uh, they're sending me messages. Uh, I, I really appreciate it guys uh, once again like I said uh, in those messages out to you guys uh, when I responded to your questions and your concerns I try to remain very very uh, humble humble uh, and, and open transparent with uh, with my with my YouTube channels uh, and what I do um, and you know there's there are two things that I that I do um, to try to get the right attention to my channel, bring the right people into my channel, and that is I use the promotion um, tools that, um, that YouTube resources gives you. Um, and the other thing that I use is networking, uh, social networking, which I jumped on very, very late. And 
I'm trying to really catch up because social networking is what actually fuels your channel. I mean, Twitter and not so much Facebook now, but Twitter for sure is a very, very, very big resource that you need to utilize. Um, if you guys are making really good content and you're not afraid to spend some money on your content the correct way, use the Google promotion tool within your channel. You have it as a creator. Use it. Um, like I said, even if you just you want to try out Google AdWords and you just want to you know, spend like $5 on a video just to figure out how it works, stuff like that. I mean, it's a really good tool to use. Keywords, all that good stuff goes into it. It's a really good to tool to use to help get your content promoted to the right areas of YouTube uh, to, to get those people who don't know who you are and probably who won't ever see who you are to, to come back to you, uh, you know, or to, to find you because it helps. If you have good content, people will take a notice and that's, that's just all it is. Um, use all the tools that are given to you people, uh, giveaways, whatever, whatever you feel is going to be right for your channel, use them, but don't get mad at somebody else who is using those tools, who are using those tools that are provided to everyone and they are starting to prosper because when that happens, it just makes you look lazy and it makes you look like a hater because that's essentially what you're being. Um, we're all on the same playing field. Everybody starts from zero and um, shouldn't put anybody else down um, because of what they're trying to do. Uh, if they, if you think that they are better than you, or if you think that they're doing better than you, uh, I think I just said the same twice. But anyway, if you think that they're better than you, uh, that's your perception. A number is just a number. That's all it really is. And uh, your real success comes from the people who actually uh, promote you, the people who support you. That's what true success is to me. People who comment, people who send me messages, people who ask me questions, people who talk to me. That's how I feel like I'm a success when I have those people. So thank you guys again uh, for tuning in. Thank you for everything that you've done. I hope you subscribe. I know this is kind of a long blog, but some things off the top of my head that I needed to get said uh, that I wanted to, to be out there. So uh, thank you guys again. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome to the new channel. Um, if you are watching this on I Am English TV, then please go to the new channel and uh, subscribe uh, where you'll be able to keep up with all the daily vlogs. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.